It figures to be a wet one, but we'll have baseball for you on MLB Network nonetheless. Today, it's the second of this three-game series between the Toronto Blue Jays and the New York Yankees. Here's Joe Panic, and we are ready for some daytime baseball. Leading off for the Blue Jays, the second baseman, Joe. First pitch hey. on its way. And oh. afternoon baseball on MLB Network is underway. Really starting to pour now, and the forecast is not showing any signs of a break in the weather. Total agreement, Matt, in particular that pitcher's mound. You know, one of the things you have to really be careful, not just for the position players, but that mound gets awfully slippery and awfully wet when it becomes moist like it is right now. So the umpires are going to have to really pay attention to the conditions on the field. One, two is an off speed pitch. No dice. It's two and two. Swung on and missed. Really fooled him that time for the first out. Now in the box, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. The head to head with James Paxton. He's gone two for eight. And he gets ahead 0 and 1. Guerrero doesn't usually enjoy left handed pitching like this as much as he does at bats against right handers. I'm not sure if it's a comfort thing or if he just sees the ball better coming from the right side, but that's the book on him at this point in his career. And that'll get on through into center, and he's got himself a one out hit. That is her. The shortstop. Into the box, Lourdes Guriel. Yes, he'll take a look at ball one. Man at first for him following the one out single. Swing and a line drive, but a foul ball. He's going to be thinking about that pitch all night if he doesn't have a big game right here. Pulled his front shoulder and everything went with it. Guerrero, the runner at first with one gun in the inning. It takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. So that'll bring in Teoscar Hernandez. And he's looking to get it going. Off to a bit of a slow start this year. There's the fastball that gets the lower part of the zone called for a strike. Now a fastball gets the upper part of the zone for strike two. Let's get it going, boys. Somebody's loose, hitting 98 with ease in the first inning. And a pitch takes off inside and gets away. And it's not in time as he's in well ahead of the throw. Here's a breaking ball, but it doesn't quite find the strike zone. Tried to work in the backdoor breaking ball there for a strikeout, but he just couldn't quite get it to come back. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. That'll bring in Giovanni Urshela. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Not your stop. Number 29. The pitch. Nope. Pitch taken several inches below the zone, in fact. Slider, but that's below the knees, and it's 2-0. and oh. Two tough sliders right there, but he was able to lay off them. Might have bought himself a fastball in this situation. Two balls and a strike now to the Yankees' leadoff man. To 2-2 two and two now. When I broke into the league, not many guys were throwing that elevated fastball with that much velocity on it. The game has changed. Fouled away. Really good at bat here from the leadoff hitter as he'll force him to throw another one. Now another 2-2. Two -two. Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. These are the kind of A.B.'s regardless of the outcome. You go back to the dugout as an offensive player and your teammates are loving on you for making that pitcher work and battling it out. Fisher is there and he has it for the first out. Here's Miguel Andujar now. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Timing just to tick off there as this one's fouled off to the right. Maybe a little jumpy there as he swings through the fastball. Got a pitch to the ballpark's dimensions right here. Love the execution of that pitch down in the zone. 
Got to keep the ball in the yard. A flip from short right gets him, and there are two away. And that sends D.J. LeMahieu into the box. First cuts for him here with the bases open and two away. Here's the pitch. Good slider there, and he gets ahead of him nothing in one. Down and away, ball one. Bases are empty here with two men out. Maybe too much break on the slider. Two and one. Hey, after those two breaking balls missed, you have to be sitting on a fastball right here. Mm, chased a bad ball up out of the zone. Two and two. Here it comes. Fly ball out toward left center field. Hernandez is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. Second inning set to go. Coming forward now, the Toronto designated hitter, Bo Bichette. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. In there for strike one, 0 oh and 1. Wow, I think the heart of this system is right on top of us because it is really coming down out there. This isn't an easy sport to play in the rain. And he'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's 1 and 2. Well, there's the classic 0-2 wasted fastball. Not even close to the zone. We'll see what he throws on the next pitch. Two balls and two strikes now. And it's a full count. Three and two to the Blue Jays' DH. That was kind of a gift to the hitter. He's up there probably thinking of protecting on two. And he takes a big swing at that one as this one's lifted high in the air and deep out to left field. Gone to lead off the inning. Randall Grichik at the plate now. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. A ball and a strike. And this is low, ball two. Two and one. Clearly off with his timing on that one, a swinging strike. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. Now a swing and a miss as he picks up another one. Make it four strikeouts already, and there's your first out. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And that'll bring up Rowdy Tellez. Drops in a strike to start the at bat. Nothing in one. That misses wide. One ball and one strike. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Now the pitch. A knuckle curve there, and he thought he had him, but it's two and two. And this is swung on and missed. His fifth strikeout already, and there are two gone in the inning. So bases are empty here with two gone, and that'll bring in Danny Jansen. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. And he starts the number eight hitter with a strike. Nothing in one. Jansen hails from the Prairie State of Illinois. He was a 16th round selection back in the draft of 2013. Hey, this guy's got a chance to be an absolute steal. Being drafted where he was, there are definite signs that he has a chance to make an impact at the big league level. Called strike two. Hey, nice job of bouncing back after the leadoff homer. Two quick outs after the bomb, and he's got a chance to get out of this. This one misses, and that'll fill the count here. Three and two with two away. Swing and a miss at a big breaking ball, and that's how the inning comes to an end. So here's the cleanup hitter, Aaron Judge, and he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. First offering on its way. There's a shin high slider laid off for a ball. Fastball at 94 miles an hour, and it's one and one. Pitch on the way. Hard hit ball to second. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. Throw in time at first. A nice play in short right for the first down. 
And that'll bring up Glaber Torres. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. 0 and 1 the count. That's in there. And he's deep in the hole now, 0 and 2. Now that ball's hit well, deep down the left field line, headed toward the foul pole. And that ball will stay fair, and it's gone. A home run. And digging into the batter's box next will be Giancarlo Stanton. As the first pitch here's a bit high, it's ball one. That evens it up, one and one. Thornton. A right-hander who stands in even six feet. He was a fifth-round pick back in the 2015 MLB draft. Hey, this middle-round selection is still developing, but he's doing it at the big league level, and he has a lot of time to get his tool set ironed out. Stepping in now, Luke Voigt, as he will look at a first-pitch fastball for ball one. This one's too far inside, ball two. Two well count, the pitch. Runner on first here with one gone and a 1-1 one -one tie. Line drive to center field. But sadly for him, this will head straight to the center fielder as he puts it away without much trouble for the second out. So we're runner at first here with two gone in the inning. And the next to bat, the Dominican-born catcher, Gary Sanchez. From the stretch. That one's down around the knees, taken for a strike. And it's 0-2 to Sanchez. I know that feeling. Played 14 years in the big leagues and still can't hit a slider. 1-2 and two to the Yankees catcher. Man, the pitcher let the guy off easy right there. That old two pitch wasn't even close. I'd rate that as a non-competitive pitch. Slider whiffed on for strike three. A great pitch to put an end to the inning. Standing in, Derek Fisher. As we are all set to begin the third inning in this one. Derek. First pitch coming. Here it is. The wind up and the 0 1. And that's inside off the plate with the fastball. It's 1 and 1. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. Two balls and a strike now. And it's fouled away. He'll find a way to get a piece of that one to stay alive. The 2 2 one more time. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to go a little bit further outside the zone. Three foul balls in a row. He wants to get a swing and a miss on this next pitch. And he got him. The batter number two. Second baseman. Go. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. In there for strike one. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. The 1 1 home. Fly ball to straightaway left. Stanton giving chase. He gets there, and that's the second out. So bases are empty here with two gone. And that brings up the big bat of Vladimir Guerrero Jr. 50th pitch of the game on its way. And that's right there and we're even at one. Two out nobody on. The ball and two strikes. They'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. And he fouls this one off. All 
ball even at two and two. Here it is. Just a bit high with the fastball, but didn't get the call. Not a time to fool around right now on a 3-2 count with the middle part of the order coming up. Expect this is line to left. And that one is gone on a two-strike count with two away in the inning. Oh, man, that swing right there, Dan. That had to feel good. You're facing an elite starter. You don't know if you're even going to get wood on the baseball tonight. You know, that'll rattle you a little bit. This guy's been throwing the ball great one of the top pitchers in the game. He's not used to guys barreling him up and hitting him in the seats. Hit on the ground to third. Andujar's got it. Throw on to Vort takes care of him, and the inning is over. Set to get his day started, Brett Gardner. And it's been a real struggle for him with the bat so far this year, looking to get things turned around in a hurry. Off the plate and away there, one ball, no strikes. Two and oh now. Boy, that's one of the toughest pitches to lay off. A hard breaking ball at the back foot. Tough take on a terrific pitch. Three and oh to him now. Hit sharply on the ground to the left. And that finds its way through for a base hit. The number nine hitter reaches base safely to start the inning. So here comes the top of the order with a man aboard. Number 29. At the plate now, Gio Urshela. As he'll take a look at a slider here that misses for ball one. Runner, runner, runner. runner goes for second. He swings and misses. Throw down. It skips in and he's safe. Close play, but he's in there. And he takes one off the inside corner for ball two. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Hernandez arranged to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the first down. And he'll make it up to third safely here with one away. Digging in now for the Yankees, Miguel Andujar, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. Strike one to start the at bat. It back up the middle and a base hit so a very good at bat there as the run is in to make it a 2-2 ball game now back, baseman, here's the second baseman DJ LeMay here as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one one in one out and one on here in the inning good fastball as he gets the swing and a miss One and two to D.J. LeMayhew. Hey, they tried to tie him up on that last pitch, so I like that they went away with this one. The execution didn't work, but I like the idea behind it. The count now at two and two. And that's ball three now as it just misses below the zone. Well, a 3-2 count and a guy that handles the bat up at the plate. This is a great time to put that runner on first in motion. And he lays off here. A nice job. It's ball four. First and second now with one away. So two men are on with one man out. And that'll bring up the big bat of Aaron Judge. First pitch fastball swung out and missed 0-1. Hey, either this hitter needs a cup of coffee or he was sitting off speed right there. Fouled off. And it's a ball and two strikes now to Aaron Judge. And a slider runs away from him there, and the count levels at two and two. And he takes a ball three, so it's a full count now. For the guy on the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been. Now a drive by Judge. Deep left field. And a leaping effort at the wall, but it's in vain. A home run. The batter. In now, Torres. As he takes a cold strike on the black, it's 0-1. 
This lineup has a chance to knock this guy right out of the game. Four runs in the inning, and they smell blood. Boy, Dero, you hit the nail right on the head right now. This is a team that can score some runs. They have a pitcher that's reeling right now. They need to knock him out and knock him out ASAP. Good slider there. Gets a swing and miss. And indeed, the throw will finish him off as they get the put out at first, and there are two away now. Stepping into the box, Giancarlo Stanton. One for one after a single his first time up. And that's taken for strike one. We're only in the third inning, and his pitch count is above 60. That's not being too efficient with your pitches. That misses wide. One ball and one strike. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Well, I think he just kind of lost focus on the mound right there. It, it's clearly not going his way, and he's thinking more about that than the task at hand. And right now, he needs to think about this hitter. Won't commit on the slider. Good patience, and it's full three and two. Luke Voigt would be next. And right into the shift. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. Drilled to the right side. Fielded cleanly. The flip to the pitcher covering as that will retire the side. And now the Toronto number four hitter, Oscar Hernandez, as we begin the top of the fourth. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. No balls in one strike. And he'll look at a fastball just off the black, and it's even at one. And able to lay off the fastball away here. Two and one now. Now here it comes. Two and two. Two balls, two strikes. Still two and two. And he's getting his money's worth up there now. It's full three and two. That was a tempting pitch to swing at right there. A big power guy like this really wants something that he can elevate and drive out of the ballpark. So he ran the fastball by him for the punch out. To Oscar Hernandez goes down to become the first out here in the fourth. And this misses outside and a bit high. One ball, no strikes. One and one. Fourth inning here, already a 5-2 to two score. Two balls and a strike. And he fires a fastball now for a called strike two. Two two pitches fouled away. Pitch on the way. Just missed with the 2-2 count, and it runs full now. These last two guys are making him work quite a bit out there. Both have been long at bats, and all in all, he's had to make 13 throws just to them so far. Here's Randall Gritchick. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. 0-1. Behind 0 and 2 now. And he rings up another one. Make it nine strikeouts for him in the game. Now better. So a runner at first with two away. And that'll bring up Rowdy Tellez. From the stretch. Lifted the other way to left center. Stanton on the run. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Luke Voigt hit it hard but lined out in his first at bat. Yeah, Matty, it's always a little frustrating when you square one up. You hit a solid line drive like he did it. And all you have to show for it is a jog back to the dugout. That can get in your head for a little while. Foul tip held onto behind the plate at strike two. A 
a little bit off the outside. It's one and two. Now a sharply hit ball back up the middle. A leaping try, but it's out of his reach and into the outfield. Now, Gary Sanchez, as he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty, it's strike one. And the slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Great game plan so far by this offense. They're not chasing any of those breaking balls out of the zone. In for strike two. Line, that's a base hit. And he is in there. Matt Shoemaker answers the call from the pen here in the fourth as they didn't get the outing they were hoping for from their starter. So here's the veteran Brett Gardner as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. A swinging strike and now it's 0 and 2. With two strikes now and a runner at first, do you go for the strikeout or are you still looking for the double play ball? Good time to try to put the ball down in the strike zone. You can either get a strikeout or a potential double play ball. So back to the top of the Yankee order. Number digging in, nine. Gio Urshela. And their runners at the corners now. Becomes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Shoemaker, a native of the state of Michigan. His contract is set to expire at the end of this season, so he may end up hitting the market this winter. You know, Matty, I know he's in the final year of his contract, but he's playing to expectations, to be honest with you. I know he, need, he wants to turn it up a little. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. Throw to first is in time, but meanwhile, the runner is in to score. And that'll bring up Miguel Andujar. Runner in scoring position with Sugan. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Six runs, seven hits, and no errors for the Yankees so far. Now a swing and a miss at a slider for a strike. The count doesn't mean much to this batter. He's all in. He's not concerned with striking out, so he's going to get his A swing off. Well hit, but also well fouled into the seats and left. swing there as they tie him up inside for the third strike and the inning is over. Stepping in for the Jays, Danny Jansen. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going and the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the eighth and ninth inning. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's one and one. Fastball misses in the dirt as he tried to get him to chase the low one. Three and one. You do not want to walk the eight hole hitter. It just opens up so many options. Do we bunt him over to second with the nine hole hitter? Do we try and play for that big rally with the top of the order coming up? This is a huge pitch. You can't allow this guy to walk. First pitch of the at bat. In there, strike one. Nobody out, runner on first. A little quick on that swing, and he finds himself behind 0 2. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. Liner toward right center. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second, as there are two aboard now. The batter number two, second base. At the plate, Joe Panic. So take a look at the pitch too low. It's ball one. No hits to this point. Offered it a low one there, but came up empty. 
There's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. It's going to be tough on the hitters if they have to incorporate that into their mindset. Now a swing and he pops him up. And I believe, yes, the umpire signaling for the infield fly rule. Digging in and looking for more. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Two hits and two trips for him thus far. Goes to show you how strong this guy is. That wasn't a bad breaking ball that he hit for a home run and it last at bat. That ball was down in a way. He went out and hooked it and pulled it. This guy's definitely a good hitter. Here comes the 1-0. Nope. Has to be a challenge pitch coming up here. He probably doesn't want to flirt with loading the bases. The 2-0 on the way. Hit in the air out to center field. After it is Gardner. He makes the catch, and the runner from second will tag and head for third. And he'll take those extra 90 feet, so put runners at the corners now with two gone in the inning. Next to bat for Toronto, Lourdes Gurriel. 0 for 2 for him to this point. He's set, and the pitch. But pulled in at the hot corner, and that ends the inning. Digging in to try it again. DJ LeMayhew as we move past the halfway point in this one and begin the bottom of the fifth. First pitch on its way. Hey, you want to talk about being in a zone? This guy's been raking lately. It all starts with his pitch selection. Two great takes, and he's almost daring the pitcher. Just go ahead and challenge him. the 2 1 here's a looping fly ball out to right here comes the right fielder but he can't make the play as it finds the outfield grass the right fielder, number Aaron. and that'll bring up Aaron judge as he lays off a fastball too low for ball one a hit in two tries for him so far a ball and a strike A 1-1. Now a ball lined to the left side. But this is a foul ball. The 1-2 is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Striding forward now is the DH. Torres is working on a one-for-two game so far. First delivery to him on the way. A swing and a ground ball to third. But this is foul for the first strike. Six runs, eight hits, and no errors for the Yankees so far. Hard ground ball to third, and he tries for the backhand reach at third, but it gets by the glove down the line. Now batting. No one fielder. Giancarlo Stanton now. And there's a swing and a miss at an off speed pitch to start him out. Nothing in one. One for two in the ball game thus far. Fouled away. Hey, last two pitches back to back off speed. Then he's laid on the fastball. He could pretty much do anything he wants right here on the mound. And he struck him out. Into the box, Luke Voigt. He reached on a single last time and later wound up scoring. Yeah, and they take another single right here. That third base coach is dying to wave his arms. I wouldn't be surprised if anything hit hard through the infield. He's going to wave them. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. Got to find a way to execute either a good fastball down the way or flip something off speed for a strike. You cannot miss over the harder plate in these situations. The hitter is on high alert. The 2 1 home is in there for strike number two. Two men are on with two men out. Pitch is popped up. And the two out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. Adam Ottavino takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. Number zero. Adam. 
New inning set to get underway. Teoscar Hernandez digging in now. He's 0 for 2 in the ball game so far. Leading off for the Blue Jays, the left fielder, Teoscar. From the stretch, here's the pitch. And there's a fastball well off the plate inside. And he throws a cutter right by him to take control one and two. Here's the pitch. Got him. And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. Now that. Next will be the designated hitter, Bo Bichette. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And that misses inside 1-0. Oh. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2-0. Oh. Well, this is a spot you'd like to be in. 2-0, oh, good hitter. He's going to turn it loose right here. Now the pitch. Hit out towards second. And that'll find its way into center field for a one-out hit. Now batting. Right fielder. Randall Gritcher. Into the box now. Randall Gritcher. As he'll take a look at ball one. That misses 2-0. Couple of strikeouts early in the game, but he's done a much better job in this at bat, trying to get ahead and put himself at a good hitter's count. Runner at first here, one man out. Richard puts a good swing on it. This ball's carrying well to left. Into the second deck and gone. Yeah, and as we take a look at it on replay, you can see this thing was gone from the second it left his bat. A thunderous shot that dang near gave the pitcher a little whiplash. Challenged him with a fastball and lost big time. Now batter, number 44. Rowdy Tellez the next to bat. As he'll take a look at a high strike that time, it's nothing in one. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. Swing and a miss. It's 0 and 2. Man, when you're struggling at the plate, that pitcher smells blood in the water. He's coming right after you, trying to end it quick. Tries the slider to ring him up, but he lays off 1 and 2. I know he buried that slider in right there, but that's a dangerous pitch. If he doesn't pop commit and bury that inside, it leaks out over the plate. He can get hurt with that pitch. And Duhar is there for it. Two gone. Now batting, now batting. Danny Jansen. Number 0 for nine. 1 for him here in this one. He's set. Here it comes. The First plate, pitch ball. fastball off the plate there, and it's ball one. Heading out towards shallow right. Heading after it is Judge. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. Now with the plate, Gary Sanchez. It was a single for him in his last at bat. The catcher, Gary. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Count one and over. One one. He's outside for a ball. In the air to right center and carrying well. Way back there now. And gone. Home run. Well, if you're going to give up a towering blast to one of the best players in their lineup, it's better to do it with no one on base. It stings, sure, but a solo shot isn't going to be the deciding factor in a game.
Here's Brett Gardner now. So go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ball game. Fastball called for strike two. Base is empty here with nobody out. And he misses there. One and two. Man, that's a good take there on that 0 2 fastball. Just missed. Really good eye at the plate. Now here's another one. Again, belted to deep right. Gone. He uses that short porch to an advantage. Home run. Another excellent swing right there. That's multiple home runs in the same inning. Watch yourself. You're missing over the heart of the plate. Into the box, Gio Urshela. Number 29. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. Hit hard on the ground at first. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Into the box now, Miguel Andujar. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. One ball, no strikes to count. The 1 0. A bouncer up the middle. Panic's got it. And no chance on the throw here as he reaches first easily. Now back, the second baseman. Standing in now, DJ LeMayhew, as he will take a fastball in there at the knees for strike one. Here's a fastball that crowds him a bit, and it's one and one. Liner towards second. And that's in there, base hit. Oh, and he can't come up with it. And he's safe. Here's big Aaron Judge. As he'll look at a fastball in there on the outer half. It's 0 and 1. And it's 1 and 1. Everyone in the ballpark knows what the pitcher's intentions are in this situation. Great job at the plate to lay off a tough pitch in a good spot. He's got it. The second for one. On to first, not in time as he just hits the bag ahead of the throw. Sam Gavilio is into the ball game now as he'll make his fifth appearance of the season here. Torres will be the first to greet him here as he stands in with a runner at first and two away. From the belt, the pitch. Three runs already home here. Can't get around quick enough, and that'll move the count to one and one. From the belt, the pitch. Line drive to center field. Fisher will get there, and he puts it away to retire the side. Jay Happ will come on out of the bullpen as he'll be appearing in his third game this season. Stepping in, Derek Fisher, who was a strikeout victim his first trip and then collected a base hit his last time around. Now the pitch. Derek Fisher. And this is a fastball that's right on the black but ruled a ball. It's 2 0 now. Well, this is the matchup they wanted bringing in the reliever, but falling behind 2-0 doesn't exactly help the situation very much. Unable to get the bat around in time, and the count evens at 2-2. Two and two. Here it comes. Rip down the first baseline, and he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Joe Panic. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. First delivery to him on the way. Now a ball lined to the left side, but foul. The windup and the 0 1. Hit on the ground to third. Enduhar fields it cleanly. On to first, and Haps rolling now, two away. 
Stepping up now, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. He flew out in his last at bat. First offering on its way. Laid off, but a cold strike as that caught the outside. And he misses with it one and one. Hey, it's much easier to lay off the breaking stuff when it's coming in towards you instead of when it breaks away. A good take there. Judge is under it, makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. We join for the traditional Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Next for New York, Giancarlo Stanton. He went down on strikes last time up. First pitch on its way. Now the 1-0. Pitching isn't always about getting everyone out. Sometimes it's about being smart and knowing when to pick your battles. He's been really careful with this hitter so far, and rightfully so. All even now, two and two. And the pitch. Lined hard toward right center. And a knock for him this time. He's two for four for the game. Now back, first base In now, Luke Voigt. As he'll watch a slider that runs out of the strike zone away for ball one. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Swing and a ball hit out toward right center. Fisher's under it. He's got it one away. At the plate, Gary Sanchez. He homered earlier and is two for three to this point. We all know this guy's a real good fastball hitter. We saw how far he could hit one. He got a fastball that he liked, and he turned that thing around, and it got out of here in a hurry. Just able to get a piece of that for strike one. Now a half swing here on the pitch inside, but it's a full swing in the eyes of the home plate umpire. Strike two. Tried to get him to go after the slider, but it's one and two going to need to make a little bit of an adjustment with a slider release and at least tempt the hitter that it's going to be a strike. The one two. He went with the off speed there once he got him to 0 and 2 but now that they both missed I think we'll see more of a challenge pitch here. You don't have to give in but you can't be too cute either. Three and two now. We could see the runner in motion here on a three two count with one out. There's a pretty good chance he's going to get a pitch to swing at, and if not, it's ball four anyways. Hit back up the middle to panic covering. Relay to first in time, and just like that, this side is retired. Digging in, Lourdes Gurriel. He'll have the first crack at it here as we start inning number eight. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. And this is just off the outside corner, ball two. As we near the end of this one, I think it's safe to say that the story of the game has undoubtedly been the long ball. Guys, what do you think about what we've witnessed? Well, as a former offensive player, I absolutely love it. Kudos to both lineups for doing absolute damage today. One of the most fun watches of the year. You know, D-Row, what this shows me is this new age way of guys going up there, and they're swinging hard. You need to make good pitches, quality pitches. And if you don't have command of the fastball, you're in for a long day. And we saw that here this afternoon, a ball flying out at near record pace. And he tries for the backhand reach at third, but he gets by the glove down the line. The batter, the designated hitter, Bo Bichette. So now to the plate, Bo Bichette. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for bowl one. Two hits and two trips for him thus far. High and deep to right center. Gardner's after it. He gets there to put it away, but the runner tags and breaks for third. And he'll move up to third now. Runners at the corners here with one away. Now batter. 
Digging in now, Randall Gritcher. And he's coming off a two-run homer his last time around. Yeah, man, this guy flexed his muscles on that last at bat. We heard that he has good power. That last bomb had to go well over 400 feet. He hit it a long way. A ground ball to third, and they could get two. LeMay here for one. On to Voigt, an inning-ending double play. of inning number eight set to go. go. Now to the plate, Brett Gardner. So far, two for three in this one. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Grounded down the third baseline, but a foul ball, one and one. Fouled off again, and now he's in a one and two hole. And here's a slider strike three called and that'll be the first out of the inning. So the batting order turns over now and set to go Gio Urshela struggling so far in this one and looking to erase his 0 for 4 ball game right here. No balls and a strike to count. Into the windup here comes the 0 and 1. Hit well on the ground to first. Oh, and he has some trouble with it and he'll flip it to the pitcher covering for the out. Digging in once again, Miguel Andujar. It's been a two for four effort for him so far in the ballgame. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Two outs, nobody on, but a base runner here feels like it would really change the complexion of the inning. Big spot right here, middle of the order guys coming up. Let's we'll see if he can extend the inning. And that'll get down for a two out single. That's for the Yankees. The second base DJ. At the plate now, DJ LeMayhew. As the first pitch sinker misses to him, it's ball one. The short hit hard, reined in. On the panic, and that'll retire the side. So stepping in, Rowdy Tellez, who could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Hey, there's an old saying in baseball, you need to take a strike in this spot. Well, he got one there. Now he just needs to find a way to get on. Now a fastball that's taken close that time, but it's 1-1. One and one. A 2-1 and one count to the Blue Jays' first baseman. anticipated here's a ground ball now to the right side and the off balance throw gets him nice play for the out now better. coming to the plate now Danny Jansen no hits to this point here comes the first pitch and he throws the fastball by him here 0 and 1 fastball and he's quickly in the hole 0 and 2 Nothing in two count and the pitch. And a good two strike pitch, but he misses high one and two. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. He started this guy backwards, a couple of off speed pitches early, followed by. Now here's a fly ball. Well hit. Judge looks up. Gone! Derek Fisher the next to bat as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. He's working on a one for three thus far in there and he's in control. Oh two now two well executed pitches at the knees right there. But I know this hitters looking for something up in under the hands with a fastball. It's one and two boy. He sped him up in this at bat. Now it's time for the changeup. This guy's got a good one and he hasn't thrown it yet in this at bat. So he racks up the swinging strikeout on the breaking ball. Derek Fisher goes down for out number two in the top of the ninth. First pitch of the at bat. And he takes a cold strike. 0 and 1. 
And low, it's a ball and a strike. Bases are empty here with two men out. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And that's going to wind up hooking just a bit foul. So a missed opportunity there. And this is in the air to right. And this should do it. He brings it in, and the Yankees have taken games one and two here at home as this one is over. Well, just an excellent job right here closing this one out. He just collected the first save of his career. Got to start somewhere. This one comes to a close with a 9-5 final. So the Bronx Bombers slugged their way to victory with 15 hits. James Paxton takes the win on the mound his second of the year. Trent Thornton struggled and gets the loss after giving up six earned. Jay Happ takes the rare three-inning save, his first of the year. So that's a wrap for us in this one. Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, Matt Vaskersian, we all thank you for watching Major League Baseball on MLB Network. See you next time. Our final line score this afternoon. First for the victorious Yankees, nine runs on 15 hits. No error. They left seven men on base. For the Blue Jays, five runs, eight hits, no error. They left six men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 35 minutes. Our paid attendance here at Yankee Stadium this afternoon, 47,309. The Yankees thank you for attending and remind you to please get home safely.